was fantastic. Most beautiful place. The amount of wildlife that is over here is just brilliant. It's like my dream come true that I've come to Kaziranga and I also saw the Brahmaputra. A land of striking scenery and remarkable biodiversity. Forgotten and rarely seen wilderness. One of the most fertile places of our country. Assam, with its huge forest cover, vast open lands and incredible climate, is an excellent place for wildlife to flourish. As part of the Times Passion Trail series, 20 photography enthusiasts get a chance to experience wildlife photography with Rajesh Bedi. One of India's biggest names in the genre of wildlife photography, who has worked as a filmmaker and photographer for over three decades and has won many national and international accolades and awards along the way. All these participants get to explore the wild and capture some of the best that wildlife has to offer. They get a chance to live their dream on a six-day wildlife photography trail through Pobitura Wildlife Sanctuary, Kaziranga National Park and Gibbon Wildlife Sanctuary in Assam. For a good photographer, you need to have, first of all, you need to be very creative. I think camera skills, the actual know-how of Taking a photograph is secondary, I think. People can, I mean, people have smartphones these days. If you have good perspective, you can take a good photo with a smartphone. Of course, but, but the photo has to be blown, it has to be a very big image. Then you need a, set, a good DSLR, you need a good lens. And ultimately those skills, shutter speed, priority and all that. But I think perspective comes first. Wildlife doesn't exist without forest. So you must have a liking and a passion for forests. Then you'll have a passion for wildlife and then we'll have a passion for conservation. And after all these comes a passion for wildlife photography. So let's learn the tricks from the master and his team. So is uh, to be a wildlife photographer, the, there are no parameters as such. Uh, have to be so passionate. That's the very basic thing. Fraction of a second, if you don't click, you don't get. Come along on a journey which lets you live what you love. We began our quest at Pobitura which is located about 30 kilometers east of Guwahati. The participants meet Rajesh Bedi for the first time. I have to give tips to you guys. You know, if you know a little, I know you want to share with me. I'll be very happy. If you're stuck somewhere, you want to know anything. Don't hesitate. You ask me. You always feel that you always connect with him. And you feel that it's the same level of platform that you have that you can share with him. That's a kind of a humbleness which he has. I guess because of his uh, amount of time he has spent in the jungle has made him a person what he is today. He is a very informal man, unassuming man and uh, you can approach him for any questions, at times even silly. Some of my uh, pa participants here, even they were asking silly questions but he would try to give his best. He was the world's best wildlife photographer in 1984. Uh, his presence itself is uh, unthinkable to me. I never thought that I'll be rubbing shoulders with uh, Dr. Mr. Rajesh Vedi. Pobitura is mainly famous for its great Indian one-horned rhinoceros. It is also home to more than 2,000 migratory birds and various reptiles. This sanctuary is a very small sanctuary, about 38 square kilometers consists of 100 rhinos. You can imagine 100 rhinos in such a small area. Once inside the sanctuary, everybody took out their gear and made frequent stops for photos. Park rules, 
forbid the driver from allowing anyone to get out of the jeep to photograph wildlife. All shots had to be taken from the vehicle itself. The jeep safari continued as everyone was looking to capture the rhino and just when we were about to give up, this majestic creature appeared and made our day. A lot of photographers uh, could manage to get good pictures in the evening of this rhino, you know, feeding on young green grass. The most difficult thing is to differentiate yourself or your shot uh, because there are 10 jeeps and there are 20 people shooting the same animal or same bird. So how are you going to differentiate yourself? You don't have to disturb the animal to take your shot. You just have to sit there. And if you think the animal does not like your presence, you have to move out from here. No matter whatever the light is, whatever the behavior is, you have to do that. You have to respect the animals, that's all. I try that it should not be just a static shot. but what I'm seeing is trying to tell me a story and that I'm trying to translate into the shot. By sunset, everybody felt confident that many more incredible experiences are in store for us. I think this is a brilliant initiative by Times where they try to break the barrier and they say that, okay, Times can be a media house, Times can be looking at politics, geopolitics, day-to-day -day occurrences. But we can also create a lot of forums uh, within the uh, people who are active on the social media or people who have an exposure about, let's say, articulating their skills. This will bring more people together and uh, this will probably, you know, give you that visibility which normally is not there in the media. It's very nice. Oh, nice. Once back in the resort, all of them were excited to share what they had captured and showed it to Rajesh. Wonderful. This is very nice. He did it only once and you got it. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> By late evening, as everybody settled in, adding some local touch, they were Assamese local dancers who performed for us and made this trip worth it. Soon after Rajesh Bedi screened one of his documentaries, oh my God. <laughs> followed by a bonding session where they discussed their approach to wildlife and what it meant to each of them. Spending one day with them and talking to them what kind of equipment they are using, what they are looking forward, why they are here on this trail, gave me a, uh, a satisfaction that they are the right participants. <laughs> 